Welcome back to WDRB Media, the voice of the community. And those streaming live through free tune in radio app, you're listening to Sit Amongst the Stars. And I'm your host, Star. If you're just tuning in, we are going to discuss the importance of time. Thank you for hanging out with me every Monday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, let's definitely connect on Instagram at sit underscore amongst underscore the underscore stars. And that's S-T-A-R-R-S. All right. So time is so very important. And I think um, it's kind of getting away from us now uh, with all the devices that we have, you know, the TV, the cell phones, different things of that nature. Um, time just speeds. It, it goes so fast. We want to discuss um, the importance of time. Time helps us measure our lives. Is how we experience the world. Um, it's how we relate to events in our lives. Like you can remember a time when you went to a concert or you can remember the time when you had your child or you can remember the time you had a messy break up. It is how we measure our lives. We remember the good times. Remember the bad times. We remember the times when we were celebrating. We remember um, the times when life didn't seem so difficult. We remember the times when um, we were the top of our class or doing the best on our job or had the best supervisor or the best classmates. We remember the times. Time is also something that we can never get back. And that's why it's important not to rush time. We will value um, time if we view it as a valuable resource. We will learn to schedule our time wisely. You will also learn to relax, live in the present moment. It's so crazy because I think about how years before cell phones or even when they we had them, but we didn't rely so heavy on them because they didn't really do that much besides talk and maybe text. <laughs> um, so there wasn't smartphones at, at that time, but it was nothing for us to go to a concert and just be in the moment, enjoy the artist um, without having the phones out recording everything. We could go to the club or to the party or, or, or family events and actually engage with one another, having conversations, um, sharing laughter, playing board games because we didn't have these devices in our hands. There's a time when you don't turn the TV on to watch anything because you're busy engaging with each other um, and having great discussions. So we have to get back to the time where We allow time to stand still and embrace the moment. Time also factors in achieving success. How you spend your time um, will allow you to achieve goals. It will allow you to live a purpose-filled life. Because if you're working hard on a particular goal, then you're going to achieve it because you're working towards it. It also reflects our priority because whatever you make time for is what you're focusing on. We can actually change our lives by changing the way we use our time. A lot of times people name off a list of ailments that they have. And a lot of times it just means they need to get out and work out some, go for a walk. You would be so surprised with taking time to work on yourself, 
meaning working out or going for a walk or doing, you know, going on YouTube and pull up um, someone doing some exercises that you can follow right, right in your home, how much that would change your life mentally and physically. But you have to put forth the effort and time in it. Um, even like with relationships, people are, oh, I'm so busy, I'm so busy. But you'll make time for the relationship if it's something that you want to make work. That's something that a lot of um, young marriages have to work on. Because if both of you guys are on your grind and working and working out, doing your own personal goals, you have to make time for your relationship. You have to set set some time to have a date night or have a movie night or whatever the case may be to work towards your relationship to keep the fire going. And time is important. Time is also, you know, people's love language. Quality time. So if that's somebody, someone that you're dealing with, that's their love language, you definitely have to learn how how to prior to prioritize your um, time. It also says a lot about um, your character. Because if you're wasting time doing things like, say, drugs. <laughs> if you spend a lot of time doing drugs, guess what? It says a lot about... Um, what you may have going on. If you spend a lot of time um, looking for things like your keys or your shoes or that tie, that shows that you have bad time management. Um, you're disorganized. It could mean you lack self-control. Um, so you definitely, time definitely shows, uh, have value. And shows your self-discipline. Everyone is afforded 24 hours a day. How do you use that time? Well, some people sit on the couch and, you know, snack and watch TV all day. And they wonder why uh, they never have time to do anything. Because they're not doing anything. <laughs> Some people spend a lot of time on social media. And then they say, oh, you know, it's just so much drama. Well, if you're engaging in drama, that's what you're going to see. When I go on social media, a lot of times I'm on there to work. I'm posting. I'm making, um, researching, different things like that. So it's all in what you do with your time and how you spend it. Some people like to travel. I have a friend that's a solo traveler. Every time I look up, she's somewhere. But that's what she spends her time at. And in doing that, you can meet people. Um, you can um, learn more about different cultures. And you yourself can grow as an individual. But you have to put forth the time. I remember before, um, like years ago, I used to talk on the phone a lot. And that's why I spent a lot of my time, hours, on the phone talking about absolutely nothing. But just not putting the phone down. And, you know, when you do that, you can't get any housework done. You can't cook. You can't tend to your children. You ever have that one friend you call and you hear the kids in the background asking for something or crying or whatever the case may be? Because they need to put the phone down and tend to who's in the house. <laughs> so um it's you know we all get 24 hours so think about it how am i how am i going to use that that time time is a precious gift um it's interesting to to look at time um as a gift because when you look at it as a gift you won't waste it you know, make sure that you are making time, um, making sure you make time be something precious.
everyone at some point will run out of time. Um, Knowing that time runs out will allow you to realize how important it is. It will also help you realize that you need to focus on making memories and to live your life without regrets. I know a lot of times it's easy to regret um, some of the things that you've experienced or or time that you've wasted. But to be honest, you still have breath in your body. And so you need to make the best of your time going forward. And anything that you've done in the past, if you can make amends for it, try it. If not, create new memories. Next week, we'll have another great discussion. Thank you for tuning in every Monday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please remember to connect with me on sitamongstthestars at gmail.com. If you'd like to be a guest um, or you would like free advertisement, you've been listening to Sit Amongst the Stars. And I'm your host, Star, on WDRB Media, the voice of the community, for double the information and inspiration. Until next time. Continue to be blessed. Hey, you're in great hands with Star. Have a seat.